Mr. Parka. And Average Joe. This is actually episode 20, and it took us like, what, like three months to yeah, get the right. episode out? Oh, it's uh, been a bit. Yeah, I started my job, and I'm back on a different shift, so our schedules are complete opposites, like first and like third or second. What do you work? Second. Uh, second. Yeah, so we can't find any time. So we finally got around, and uh, we decided to review the movie Arminel. Arminel. For midnight releasing, or uh, brain damage, uh, it's midnight releasing, but... Uh, Basically, it's kind of like your psychological character study about a girl who works at like a law firm type deal, and uh, you know she, uh, her girlfriend also works there. And uh, kudos for you know having a lesbian relationship in the movie that is not uh, stereotypical or really annoying or anything like that. Usually, these movies would have um, you know make it out be the time or... or something. You know, they would exaggerate it and make it even seem like a. Uh, a parody of the actual real relationship, but uh, well, like you were saying before, they didn't go with the typical butch type. Yeah, they always. Yeah. You, you, I just don't want to sound like a insensitive, but I, I movies tend to make gay characters stereotypical all the time. Yeah, or like any. But then any again, stereotypical they, they kind of went that route with uh, the the gay guy. The gay guy. There's yeah. a homosexual. Which is uh, you said which what baby he, seal or something? He looked just like, like seal. seal. Yeah. He, I call him gay seal. We were just talking about you. <laughs> about the movie, but uh, anyways, the film follows uh, a woman who starts having visions from her past and her dreams, and uh, something horrible happens in her life, and uh, it kind of uh, triggers these events you, where you don't know what's exactly happening. People end up dying, uh, and it, all signs point to her. Uh, there's also detectives involved in the case trying to figure out what's going on, uh, some, somewhat of a guardian angel and whatnot. Uh, the acting's pretty solid for the most part. The cinematography's really good. It it's a well-made, well-produced movie, and uh, it's got Bill Oberst Jr. in it, who is in the movie, I believe, uh, The Devil Within. He's in tons of stuff. He yeah, just, that guy was that he guy's just cool. He looks like a creep. He didn't have enough of a part, though. No, and I was he, hoping to have yeah. just a little bit more of a scene with him. With more dialogue. Yeah, more he's, dialogue. He's really scary, actually. He just looks like really skinny yeah, his and leathery faced. Yeah. He's a scary looking guy. He's a creepy looking guy. He I needs mean, to be a, a primary in a movie. Yeah, I agree. Like, where he's but definitely the He basically played the same character he did last time. But he was really good in this for a small role he was in. But uh, the he's kill, good at the like the, the creepy back turn with the yeah. half head. You know they did a lot of that. It's good in the flashback type deal. But the mask in the movie are uh, the mask actually looks fairly creepy. It looks like something from the movie coming up called Kill the Bitch. Uh, it's uh, got a long snout, gas mask type deal. Very strange. But uh, I think that people may be able to guess the ending. I did myself. But they throw a curveball at say, you at I one will, point in the movie. Yeah, they do throw a lot just of curveballs so you, at you. Just one curveball towards the end, so you're like, oh, I was wrong, and then they kind of. Throw that away and like, no, you were right. Yeah. But I don't want to give away the ending or anything like that. But I will say it did take you fairly a while to get the ending. It like yeah. took about twenty minutes left in the movies when he finally nailed it completely. So like, you know, that's pretty good for the movie being an hour and what, sixteen minutes? It's hour and thirteen minutes. Hour and nice, thirteen short, minutes. Sweet. Like the last twenty minutes is it took that's pretty good, you know. You but, got through about four fifths of the movie before you actually nailed the ending down completely. My personal favorite scenes in the movie were just like the short snippets of her like having like laying in bed and having like a flashback and they do like a do like a five or six cut shots like whoosh, 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 with the music and you see like oh it's like this is what's in her head. I'm sorry, Savannah. <laughs> Can we get rid of that thing? Remember those dreams I was having? Interesting looking mask. I know you had something to do with this. And I'm gonna prove. If you need me, I'll be around. Who is the lady behind the mask? No! I will! You must! I will! I'm not allowed to talk about her. I'm not allowed to talk about her. I'm not allowed to talk about her. Those are my favorite scenes, uh, because the rest of the movie is kind of almost, uh, I don't want to say monotone, like monotonous, or whatever, is that a word? Uh, uh, monotonous? Uh, monotonous is the word. <laughs> monotonous, <laughs> it's like a sound on your TV or something. Turn it to monotonous. But uh, monotonous, I mean, not like it's a chore to watch, it's just kind of straightforward, but every once in a while you get these weird cut scenes. Remember the yeah, the movie did feel scene, a lot longer that? than an hour and 13 minutes, but... Yeah, we, we had to pause it during one scene. That's that could be the problem. But the coffee scene you mentioned, it was kind of strange. They had this like fast paced like coffee cutting scene, kind of like oh, yeah, the then. coffee. Montage. But there was like slow narration yeah. over it, and yeah. it was just like, oh, maybe they wanted to speed yeah, things it was, up. Like yeah. they had this scene shot. But so the rest like, of the movie wasn't really fast. Like no, yeah. I don't know. It, it was, wasn't. It wasn't. It didn't drag out, but it wasn't a fast paced movie. No, no, it wasn't. Definitely wasn't. But I thought it was a good pace. Yeah, like, it was I good thought pace. everything kind of went in a good. Like it could have been a little faster for for how much they had in it, 
But other than that, like, I, w I didn't get bored very much. I wasn't bored throughout. Yeah, I didn't get uh, bored. Like, maybe once or twice, like, I had, like, a two-second thing of boredom where I looked away. And the, but other than that, the movie kind of kept me captivated. Which is surprising because I have ADD, and it's real hard to keep me caught into a movie. But this movie kind of kept me in pretty much the whole time, dude, I'd say. Yeah. I'll tell you one. Uh, the character of George didn't seem very realistic. I mean, he did, because I've seen guys work like that, but I thought his, like, uh, sexual, uh, like... Come on to the women. Oh, were yeah. just a little more annoying than usual. Yeah, I thought that they were, yeah, yeah they the, just the were too chauvinist. cheesy. I mean, they were too outright. I mean, usually I feel that when someone does things like that, they kind of keep it on the down low or just one on one, not in front of a group of people. Like, hey, baby, what's up? How you doing? I always see yeah, that. It's just hard to believe that there's the exact characters it's are out there walking around like that nowadays. Still, but, just who doesn't give a crap? But slobs like us could never work in a law firm. Yeah, so no, maybe no maybe way. it's only in like high class again, places where this happens. I didn't realize in the beginning part of the movie, that he was the son. So that makes a lot more sense. It he's, makes a lot more sense. He's actually the son of the guy who runs the place, the so he can get away with a lot more. So that that kind of adds a little more of a realistic to the douchiness, but still the character is just... that He was the only real unbelievable character in the movie. Honestly, I think his dad, the guy who runs the law firm, was the best he, actor. Larry, he was, a good, he was a good actor. He was solid, he was believable, he was comfortable in his own skin. Like, I'd like seeing him Kind of looks like a serious Fred Willard or something. Not Fred Willard. Mm. Yeah, Fred Willard. No. No, not Fred Willard. What's that one guy? Yeah, I Fred Willard. Know. I'm thinking of Fred Willard. I was, I was, I the didn't want to mix him up with. Buff. Oh, Fred Willard's not a movie horror movie guy. Oh, he's, he's not. A bunch of movies. Well, I didn't want to mix him up with Fred Ward, but it's Fred Willard. Savannah. Something wrong? Close the door. <sighs> wrong. What do you mean wrong? I don't know. Savannah, this is uh, difficult for me. And I don't want to embarrass you or make you think that your position here is at risk because your job is safe. Okay, thanks. And um, I can quite understand if you want to file a suit. File? You mean a lawsuit? I want you to know that I plan to let George go immediately. Who told you I was going to file a lawsuit? It doesn't matter who. I was obviously hoping to avoid it altogether, the firm's reputation and all. But, um, well, I'm going to fire George because of inappropriate conduct. All right. And I want you to accept my personal apology for any um, distress that his uh, behavior may have caused you. Larry, I'm not going to file a suit. Well, good. All right, then, listen, just not a word to George. Okay. Just let me handle it, okay? But, uh, yeah, I would check this out when it comes out. I believe it's already out, Armanel. I don't have any special features for you. I, the sound did sound a little weird, but this is not a final copy here. Uh, not a bad movie. Uh, if you're looking for some psychological character study, uh, I would recommend it. Some uh, decent twists, some nice shots of the... Uh, I love psychological stuff, and I like this. Uh, Oceanside. It's... It's a good movie. I would probably put it somewhere along the range of out of ten. I'd probably say six and a half. Six and a half. That's good. That's good. Solid. Yeah. yeah. Six and a half is good. Solid. Yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong I with this at all. That. Good movie. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, we can get these out quicker and whatnot. Uh, Not once every four months. It might still be like that, so uh, don't hold your breath. But uh, take it easy. Woo woo. No beatbox.